Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, April 8th to uh, April 14th, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that as a general reading of uh, Scorpio style sign this reading is going to resonate in a different way and it's going to relate as well to different stuff for every single different Scorpio as we guys are different from one another so uh, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in its future just like I, I am doing here for the few examples in this video that is the subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from uh, just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. So that being said going to the uh, Scorpio reading uh, the first card that we do have uh, marks the general topic for Scorpio's week and that is going to be the full card followed by the second one which is the negative approach that we Scorpio can have toward the topic here this is going to be the uh, nine of cups, uh, the seven of cups excuse me then it is the third card which is the uh, positive approach that we can have toward the situation this is going to be the ten of cups third and the last card excuse me which is the fourth one that we do have and that is the uh, final outcome of growth should we follow here the guidance of tarot this is the nine of cups so once again we do have the full card which is the general topic of our week scorpio then it is the uh, t the seven of cups which is the um, negative approach to the situation followed by the Ten of Cups, which is the positive approach to the situation. And finally, that we do have it is the Nine of Cups. That will be the final outcome of growth should we follow here the Guidance of Tarot. So, um, we have the full card, guys, for the uh, general topic of the week. And everybody knows that this is the new beginning. The full card, it's, um, well, many cards in Tarot does represent new beginnings, all the aces, um, the world card as well does represents one thing's end and another start. So the, everybody has, every card, excuse me, mm, does differentiate itself from the other one based on the circumstances. So the full card uh, as a topic of our week here, it does represents the, um, the formation and the embark that one has upon a certain idea or a goal that currently until this very moment either was not present at all as an idea that could be you know one can have a, a certain insight what one wants to do and start doing something about it or it could be about a thing that it did not had a chance to be developed until this very moment so uh, throughout this week uh, Scorpio, it will be important that we allow our ideas to to flow and to to fly, if I may express myself that way. And it will be important if you as well allow ourselves to dream big, because with the full card, usually almost everything is 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 possible. Well, of course. I'm speaking about the reachable things into our environment. If you kind of aim to go to Jupiter, that is not going to be possible. But um, the things which are within our reach, you know, like finding a new job or finding a new suitor or, or working toward a promotion or working toward saving one's marriage or improving one's marriage, with, with the full card, these things are definitely, definitely possible. However, once to accomplish such a goal, it will be important with the full card first one to kind of focus upon the goal instead of focus of how, how one is going to get there. That being said, as the full card appears, it will be important that you guys and we guys as a Scorpio are not intimidated by what kind of a, a predicaments and plights we may face along the way, but instead we should focus ourselves on the end goal and we need to allow it to uh, illuminate our path as we move toward it.
On a more superficial level, the full card does point that throughout this week you are likely to experience a, a, a very new gaining for enterprises which are to create a lot of a creative chaos within your world, um, a, a situations from which you are to learn a great deal of stuff, and as well is likely that you are to meet new people. People with which you, uh, it will be beneficial for you, Scorpio, that you kind of like attend to carefree in a sense of, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but without much of a, uh, a, respons a responsibility strings put it in between, you know. For example, if you get introduced into someone, just allow your carefree nature to take care of it. Instead of, you know, uh, trying to figure out what the next move should be and so on and so forth. So it's like it's kind of like be spontaneous, especially if we're talking about relationships and connections. Uh, that will be the best uh, possible thing that you can do here as through through which uh, the um, the new goal of the relationship itself, you know, or of a new forming relationship is to emerge through this card. The accompanied here card that is going to be the uh, six of pentacles. So the formation is active, uh, active enemies. And uh, the, the, the shade that the six of pentacles here adds is that we are completely going to switch flows. So we are now moving to um, according to one current and this week, the week itself is going to present us with a new current. So here we do have a, a brand new beginning that we're going to establish in some of our fields, maybe in the field that everything is it's annihilated, it's no longer there. For example, relationships. You know, you suffer through a breakup, there is no relationship whatsoever, you left heartbroken, you healed, and now you are in a place of indifference, you know, and that could be the prerequisite where you can initiate a new beginning, you know, from one flow where you are in a flow of indifference, you get transferred into a flow of interest with a another person. So uh, what is the negative approach toward the situation? I'm sorry for my complex explanation of the fool, but it is just it follows that narrative with the next cards because uh, generally what I could say about the fool is that it's going to be a new beginning and that's that. But the fool goes much deeper than that. There is a conditions that needs to be met before actually one can start walking toward this uh, this new goal or this new beginning. And as well, it's going to require from you to taking so-called leap of faith, meaning believing, having a clamor toward a bright future, which is kind of like that I have explained that you should not be intimidated by the plights and predicaments that may occur or may not occur uh, along the way, um, um, alongside with your uh, advance toward the goal. So the next card, uh, it is the negative approach toward the situation, and that is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups just tells us only one thing. Do not get ahead of, our, of yourselves. Of yourselves, yeah. Or we, as I am a Scorpio, we should not get ahead of ourselves. But instead, be very objective. So focus on the objective one after another. And instead of, you know, flying in the clouds, if I may express it that way, and, and building up a, a, a cloudy towers. That is an expression in my country here, which means, you know, following a, a celluloid, uh, having a celluloid expectations and following unrealistic goals. And now it's important to be very grounded and very objective. And not, not that if you aren't, uh, you are to make a grave mistake along the way, you know, and you are going to miss your chance. But the more unrealistic you are about your position and about your advance uh, forward towards your goal with this new beginning, the bigger disappointment you are to feel from that you are not going to meet your expectations or your efforts ain't going to meet your expectations. Now, through this disappointment, one is going to be uh, turned back on track, meaning in this current, in this new current that I have talked about. So pretty much throughout this week, Scorpio, you are pretty much deprived from making a, a crucial mistake, which is to deprive you from, you know, chasing your goal. But it will be better if you are not severely disappointed from wasting certain efforts or certain, you know, financial investments, for example. The accompanied card here that is going to be the five of um, the five of swords. 
So what we do have is passive neutrals uh, once again in this uh, position. Well, before that, beforehand, we do had a an active enemies. So passive neutrals here with the five of uh, with the five of swords is the it kind of like points that you should need to know your limitations, how how capable you are at this uh, at this moment, and what you can accomplish without putting much sweat about it. Uh, that being said, you should follow uh, the goal or this new beginning by systemizing the things um, in a, such an order that you, are, you aren't going to have a problem executing. Um, I don't know what kind of example to give you about that. So let's say that you need to repair your damaged car, all right? And uh, the car is a, a severely wrecked, so it will be more efficient if you start from the cheapest, you know, and the more easier type, um, parts to be fixed while the time that being taken, those things to be fixed, you kind of collect money for the real engine, um, engine fixture or whatever. So instead of straight away going for the bigger problem, you know, or, or for, the, for the bigger predicament or for the bigger resolution, it will be best if you first attend to the peripheral things, which are to be much easier to handle and they are going to uh, allow you afterwards, you know, to handle the big thing with much more uh, freedom. So know your limitations and choose carefully your battles and your strategy for that matter for throughout this uh, week. The next card that will be the positive approach to the situation and that is going to be the Ten of Cups and this is more like a um, wishful card rather than a, um, rather than a guidance card. I, it does ask us to recognize that whatever this week is, is to present us, whatever new beginning we are to face in either in our relationship life or in our career life or in our life in general, because that could be a major change for some of us, you know, like changing a place of, li uh, of living where the new place that person is going to have a new job, you know, a, a new girlfriend or a boyfriend and so on. So it's, it is entire life changing um, event. But for some of us, it's going to be pretty small in a sense of that we can change our computer, for example, or we can change our car, uh, or we can change our girlfriend or a boyfriend, regardless. So whatever we initiate throughout the week, we need to recognize it as a, a thing which makes our life either slowly progressive or all of a sudden start with living again. And is going to, with the Ten of Cups, uh, it's, it's, it, we need to recognize it as a, a true blessing of our life, as a, something that we don't need anything more, at least for the time being. And we can truly or fully, excuse me, focus on that thing. So if that is a new relationship for you, Scorpios, you need to fully focus on it. Okay, and extract the maximum benefit out of it. It is the same thing about career. It does depend what is going to manifest for you. But the thing is that this new beginning of yours, guys, or of ours, it will require, if you want to traverse it into an ultimate happiness here, it will require our full devotion and recognition that this was the blessings we need, or this was the blessing we need, or we need it in order to dap our life with... Uh, with sensual emotions and with, with exhilaration. The next card, or kind of like the accompanied card here, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles, so the formation is passive uh, friends in this case. And with the Two of, two of Pentacles is a card of playfulness and it is a, a card as well of adaptivity. It does speak that um, it is best with one does not go with a, a certain plan or with certain concept, but one works its way as things come and go, which is in a bit of a contradictory with uh, the um, with the things that one should not do, where we said that you have to kind of like a uh, know your limitations, your capability at the time being and attend only to those things which you are sure that you can handle. And this... Um, this combo here speaks that uh, at the time being, there will be more than one thing that you will be able to handle. So you get the rights of choosing or kind of like you get the blessings to choose 
what you are to work upon at that point or what kind of endeavor and enterprise you want to develop at this point. Important thing with the Two of Pentacles as well is to recognize that uh, these uh, this new beginning can open you a lot of doors as well. It will start uh, like changing your environment uh, with the small pieces. How can I place it? it? It may change your routine a little bit. It's just there are going to be small changes that some of us is not going to really uh, recognize at the start. But from those small changes, a, a true opportunities can emerge further into the future. Just uh, the, the point with these couple of cards, guys, is that we need to be open as well for rearranging our environment as we go along by uh, dealing with our, uh, with our endeavors for throughout the week. And the last card, it is the uh, positive outcome of growth should, you, should we follow the guidance of Tarot, which needless to say means that we take with our full fistfuls a, um, that new beginning, we invest everything in it, you know, and we have the clamorous belief toward its, uh, its success. We recognize it as a, the, blessing, the blessing we needed in order to make our life worth living again. And uh, we end up happy. It is just what the card points, okay? So we are to fill our life with sensual joy, a lot of exhilaration, and uh, a lot of wish fulfillments as well. Wish fulfillments in the sense of that we are going to feel ourselves fulfilled. Like things are happening. Because with the Nine of Cups, it's usually when everything that we, we hope for, it starts manifesting itself. Not to its uh, outer extent, though. I mean, there will be what more to be desired. And this is where the Nine of Cups comes around, where one needs to secure the current positions. Okay, so you are to experience happiness. That is without a question. Uh, or we are to experience uh, happiness, Scorpio. That is without a question. But the point is that we have to... Uh, secure on that happiness we need to secure on these positions in order to traverse it into a, a long-lasting one where no one can take it away from us. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Four of Swords which uh, formation is a, a passive neutrals once again. So with the Four of Swords it does look like that this has nothing to do with another um, how can I place it? It does has it has nothing to do with another person's happiness. So even if this is a about a relationship, you know, and let's say you meet a new suitor, the level of happiness that you and that suitor is going to have it, it will be different. Okay, with these couple of cards and uh, with the four of uh, swords, one should not stop here, while one can. Okay, so you get to choose. Do you want to develop it further or do you want to sit into this uh, into this wealth, should I say that way, or, or into this phase? You can prolong the phase as much as you want, but ultimately, if you once again want to traverse this, uh, this happiness and moments of exhilaration into something long lasting, like from a relationship marriage, you know, or from a being a simple employee, a executive director, and so on and so forth. You need to make your moves. I mean, you need to secure on these uh, on these positions with whatever it takes. For everybody, it's going to be different. What one needs to do, you know, I cannot tell you. For example, you gotta. Um, take off the plugs, you know, or uh, you have to say I love you and so on and so forth. It's going to be different for every single one of us. But with the Nine of Cups, believe me, you will know what you have to do. It all comes to that. Do you want it? And do you have the courage to do it? So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8 to April 14, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, as a general reading, it's going to relate to different stuff and it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Scorpio. But if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is the subject of a, a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!